This brief video will introduce three legal bases for including materials in your performing arts courses at no direct cost to students. Open educational resources are the only fully free resources, but fair use doctrine and licensing offer other options for integrating materials without asking students to pay for them. However, each type of license or policy includes different limitations on its use and distribution. OERs, or Open Educational Resources, that are truly open are free to access and have open copyright licenses that allow the user to remix, reuse, and redistribute the material. There are also educational resources broadly defined, not just textbooks, but lesson plans, videos, readings, assignments, and so on. Open resources typically are labeled with Creative Commons CC BY licenses. A Creative Commons CC BY license allows for broad reuse as long as you don't have a commercial purpose and you attribute content to the original creator. Attribution can be a simple statement of authorship or a link to the original resource. With Creative Commons materials, you can duplicate the resource, reuse it, modify or remix it, and share it with others. The CC BY license gives an instructor broad permission to do things like copy text from an OER textbook but revise it to better fit the goals of your own course or mix chapters from existing OERs to create a new source, which is also shared openly. Some videos on YouTube and images on websites like Flickr have CC BY licenses, so you can use them in your OER creation. Try using search tools to filter for Creative Commons licensed materials. Another option is to use licensed materials, where an agreement with permission for certain uses already exists. While you may want to ask about individual licenses, materials available online through the library typically include licenses that would cover classroom use by students, faculty, and staff, but not sharing outside the authorized users. You can link to these materials or upload them directly to Canvas. The library licenses journals, ebooks, and streaming audio and video that can be included in your Canvas site. Look for any limits on the number of simultaneous users for ebooks and streaming services, since that could cause problems for time sensitive access. If you use services like YouTube or Spotify to include multimedia materials in your class, you're also using licensed content, but the cost is borne by student account payments, advertising, or data collection. If what you need is not available in Creative Commons or licensed formats, you may be able to use it under Fair Use Doctrine. The Fair Use Doctrine allows for certain kinds of use without permission from the copyright holders, as long as you obtain the material legally. The difficulty of fair use is that there is no hard and fast rule or safe percentage of a work, only a set of factors to be taken into account when deciding if a use is allowable, so it's hard to know for sure unless a court is called in to decide. When considering if something is likely to be challenged, you have to weigh these four criteria. The purpose and character of the work. Nonprofit educational use weighs heavily in favor of fair use, as does transformative use of material whether that means creating a parody or using entertainment materials as the basis for scholarly study. The creativity of the original will also be taken into account. The more original and creative the work, the more careful you need to be in reusing it. In terms of the amount, using smaller excerpts is helpful, but there's no magic number of pages or percentage. The amount needs to be weighed with all the other issues, including whether the amount is suited to the use. You should only use the amount of material that is needed for your purpose. One very important factor in the likelihood of whether a copyright holder is likely to challenge you is the effect on sales or market of the original. If your use is educational, transformative, and doesn't significantly affect the market, it will probably be protected even if the work is creative and used in whole. For example, using an entire film or musical recording as the basis for class discussion is likely to be allowed because you're using a work intended for entertainment transformatively as educational content and students would be unlikely to purchase the material themselves. On the other hand, photocopying and posting a music theory workbook is not likely protected, even though it may not use creative material in the same way as an album, but it is being used for its original purpose and provided for free to the main audience the workbook would otherwise be marketed to.